Representing the defendants, Bill Cash and Veronica Byrne, is, well, a JD MBA. <laughs> Excuse you, nameless bailiff. My name, Your Honor, is George Hayward. <laughs> George, John, Jordan, Thomas, Aquinas, Hayward. Woo! Miss Payne, you can call me. Miss Payne, the floor is yours. Good morning, Your Honor. Oh, we're screwed. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, I would like to observe that I felt small and rejected when that man used the word objection against me. Noted, Counselor. Uh, would you please present your first witness? Yes, Your Honor. I would like to call to the stand a renowned legal expert, former Supreme Court clerk and current U.S. attorney who happened to be present in the room when the crimes were committed, Ms. Stacy Quinn. Ms. Quinn, please, please stand, raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to uphold the honor code NBA ones learn about during week zero, but never discuss again, so help you God? I do, Your Honor. Ms. Quinn, will you please describe for the court what you saw that day? Of course, I saw both Bill and Veronica commit unspeakable GSB crimes that beyond a reasonable doubt violate the fundamental standards of this university. And in your expert legal opinion, is there any possible defense that they might not be guilty? No, they are clearly guilty! Objection, Your Honor! Despite her Supreme Court clerkship, the witness is unqualified. What do you mean, Counselor? We have just received important news that the husband of Miss Quinn is an MBA one. Oh. <laughs> Meaning that the witness is an SO. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Kane, Miss Kane, Miss Kane, you should know better than this. She may be more qualified than anyone else in the entire world, but she's an SO. <laughs> and you know the rules about SOs. Witness dismissed. But I. I, Your next witness, please. I even pay a double fee for being here. Next witness, please. Your Honor, I would now like to call to the stand Mr. Steve Kaczynski, Deputy Vice President for IT Services on the second floor computer lab of Bass Library. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Kaczynski, please stand, raise your right hand. And could you take that Bluetooth oh, out of your sorry, ear, man? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you solemnly swear to uphold the Come on, dude. Okay, sorry. Do you solemnly swear to uphold the honor code NBA ones learn about during week zero, but never discuss again, so help you God? Uh, I, I do, Your Honor. Steve, take a seat. Okay. Mr. Kaczynski. Yes? Can you please describe for the court what you saw that day? So I, I was at the Board of Trustees meeting uh, with Dean Levin. Uh, we were trying to push an update uh, out to the students. For the GSB Digest. No, 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 it, it was the main portal, you know. Canvas. No, 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 the main one. Access. No, no, no. Simple enroll. Oh, no. Tableau. My GSB. That one we use when a branch falls down. Alert SU. Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. Eh, sustained. Please continue, Mr. Kaczynski. I overheard both Bill and Veronica con conspiring to betray the GSB in a way that beyond a reasonable doubt, violates the, the fundamental standard of, thi of this university. And in your expert technical opinion, is there any possible defense that they might not be guilty? No, they're, they're definitely guilty. And there you have it. Your Honor, for my closing statement, I would like to say that these two accused criminals have violated the spirit of the GSB. They have committed treason against this school by encouraging irresponsible mergers. For this, we request the harshest punishment permitted by the Office of Student Life. You mean the office you run? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Counselor. You, JDMBA, you got two minutes. <laughs> Mr. Hayward, Your Honor. Two Thank minutes, you. Bud. <laughs>
even sure that I care anymore. Come graduation day, I'm going to be out of here. I'll be playing God with actual world changers at the Knight Hennessy program. So this is not my problem. Talk to Your Honor. Honor. Derek, you, you can't possibly mean that. However, as the only semblance of stability left in the entire GSP, <laughs> I'm left with no choice but to sentence you to indefinite social probation. Okay. Excuse me, Your Honor, you must be mistaken. The only punishment we serve at the GSB is academic probation. <laughs> Courtney. Derek. Derek doesn't make mistakes. And I hereby sentence all bulls and all short sharks to indefinite social probation and prohibit you from participating in what actually matters most. You know Vegas bomb. No! No BPL, and especially no Nacho Friday. But I'm feeling generous tonight, so I will permit your attendance at LPFs. What? No, because I say that. is that? Bill, Veronica, you are to remain in GSB prison with bail set at one million Starwood credit card points. Did he say a million or a billion? Ah, don't worry, I got that many last winter break. <laughs> That's fine, Your Honor. They can both handle that. Will you please release them now on their own recognizance? Request granted. I don't know how he does it. I love it. George Harewood, everybody. And the fried chicken man say the Lord always delivers. Because he has delivered for the fried chicken man.